Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. And ladies and gentlemen, I am SWAT fueled up and I am ready to talk. And what am I gonna talk about today? I'm gonna talk about the TP9SA. The what? The SA? That's right, the single action. You may know about the TP9 pistol because the TP9 looks like the Walther P99, which also looks like the, the Smith & Wesson SW99, and then they imported one called the TP9, which basically looked like all the other ones. It was a double action to single action pistol. Nine millimeter duty size handgun, and did they work? Yes, they worked just fine. But people cried and whined and complained about the trigger. Like, oh, the first shot trigger is way too long, yada, 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 yada. And so what Century did, they're like, all right, hippies, stop crying, we're gonna redesign the gun. So they worked with a company in Turkey, and this company in Turkey actually is what, ISO 9000, and they make like rocket engines and stuff for NATO. And they produced this gun, and it's called the TP9SA, or single action. So essentially what this gun has is it has a G-lock striker fired trigger in it. It has one consistent trigger press. Now I actually put a trigger pull gauge on this and I pulled it and I found that this gun right here has right around five pound trigger press each and every time. So that is a good thing. Uh, they redesigned the grip. Uh, it's a little more ergonomic than the previous one. I didn't really hate the previous one, but this one feels really good. It comes with two back straps as opposed to three. Uh, the, the sights are what they are. They're not fantastic, but they're not terrible either. Uh, the gun feels really good in your hand. And Jared and I have been working with this gun for about three months now. We went out on our own home range and shot somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 600 rounds through this gun. Then we went up to Tactical Response. We hung out with the Tactical Response guys and the Century guys, and they brought out about, what is it, 10 or 12 of these things, and we shot the ever-living crap out of them for two days. And yours truly shot it and dropped it in the red, dirty mud. Oops. Uh, stepped on it, put it in puddles. Oops. We were actually able to get them to the point where they were so dirty and dry that they would only fire one shot, and you're like, oh, well, it broke then. Well, we took it apart and we cleaned it. We put some frog lube on it, put it back together, and it was ready to go again. So uh, between this pistol that I have in my hands and the others, I probably put in the neighborhood of about 1,000, 1,500 rounds through these guns. And I'm pretty impressed by them. Now here is the super cool ninja trick with this gun. Everybody in the G-Lock world, or the, uh, the world hates G-Locks because you have to press the trigger to take the slide off, right? To disassemble it, you have to press the trigger and people get really bunged up about that. They're like, oh, it's terrible design, yada, 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 yada. Watch this. Press this with two fingers. You reach down, you push this lever, and it comes off. You never have to touch the trigger to disassemble it. Oh, <gasps> yes, bingo. So you never have to touch the trigger to disassemble this. The gun has uh, 18 round magazines. It comes with two magazines comes with a basically a Blackhawk ripoff holster. I believe they're paying licensing rights to Blackhawk for the holster. Uh, it's a good deal at right around 350 bucks. Did I just blow your mind? Yeah, I just blew your mind. These are right around 350 bucks for a duty size, duty caliber gun. And if you're out there and you're like, hey dude, I've been thinking about getting an extra gun, a spare gun, I have a school and I need some rental guns, TP9SA. Uh, they're hot items. Quite frankly, they're selling as fast as the dealers get them in. So if you want one, you better get your order in right now. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please leave your comments below.